I yeah, don't know a little the, lower. I can't there. even. Higher. Just, the, lower. I don't. I can't hear you. Wait, 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 wait. Fuck. <laughs> okay. Further. I don't. Closer. Right here. Further. Closer. Further. Closer. Further. And hold on, hold on, Liz. While you do that, while while you do that, Bri, I just want to show her something. Will you close your eyes and lean your head back? Just, oh. I just want to. <laughs> Brian, I think I see something on your ceiling. Further Where? away. Closer. <laughs> Brian, I think there's something in the back of your throat. Will you just say ah? Uh... Good. Closer. <laughs> further away. Closer. Can you hear? Further me? away. <laughs> hey man, I'm oh. having wiki wiki. Oh. That's Hawaii, that oh. means quick. Oh. I dig your body art. You look like Michael oh. Hutchins a little bit, the guy right. from NXS. I saw that video of your dick on YouTube. Okay. I thought you died from autoerotic asphyxiation. Yeah. You know what they call coral puna? <laughs> this album is about a young oyster boy who lives deep under the sea. It's basically like the Seattle grunge scene, except it's the Honolulu grunge scene. It's like I'm basically the Kurt Cobain of the Honolulu grunge scene. Hawaiian. It's like grunge, but with more casual clothing. Kind of like Jack Johnson, but like OG Jack Johnson, not shitty Curious George Jack Johnson. It's like getting a Hummer in your dorm room, Jack Johnson. It's loosely based on the life of uh, Pablo Picasso. It's like craft work meets Two Life Crew meets... Uh... <laughs> it's a new day. I'm over Sarah Marshall. <laughs> Hello. Try just the nipples as opposed to my whole. Yeah. <laughs> I was. <laughs> just wet words. There? What the fuck? Do it. Come on, Chase. Oh, wait, I got it. Don't cut. Okay, go. I can milk ya. <laughs> <laughs> With them. Oh my god, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Oh right. shit. As most. <laughs> Fuck, this flew in my ear. Sorry. Uh, I just I put it behind me. It's good, you know? Well, do you want to talk about it? Let's talk about it. <laughs> you know what, man? <laughs> and then you went nuts. It was like an episode of the Jerry Springer show when they bring out the cheating husband and the woman just goes crazy. You were like David O. Russell when he was yelling at Lily Tomlin. You sounded like an angry old lady. You were like Hervé Villachez. Get off of my island. I'll kill you. I'll kill you. You know what, Mom? What's more important to you, a cat's feelings or your son's feelings? I can get you some blow by probably like 1 and one, and 1 in the morning. I'm going to get off my shift. Go pick up an 8-ball, swing by. I got to call you right back. Sorry. Hello. Well, you know what, Mom? I have a job, so I can't just leave my job to go show you how to use the internet. No, I'm not just hanging out in Hawaii, Dad. I'm a fucking eye banker. I'm eye banking right now. And it's kind of cool, though. You just come and like eat dinner by yourself. I wouldn't do it. I would rather just stay in the room and jerk it, if you know what I'm saying. Don't tell anybody I said that. Greg, we've got a loner. Just one. Can you? You don't have to. What? I know, but I have to tell him. To... Right, but... Clear the other plates off of the table because you don't need the other plates and napkins. Just... Do you want some weed? I'd take some weed, yeah. It might help put a blanket over the depression. That's what I did. I came here. I came here as soon as my wife left me. That's the way it goes, you know? Kane wahine. You just need the kai la la pu'u. What's pu'u? Lava. Man, you know what the perfect day is? Surf, doobie, chow, party, helmet, sleep. One sip of wine, and by the end of the evening, you know, I could be sucking off homeless guys for a couple of rocks. In the dark days, the things I was doing, you know, I didn't use my mouth so much for speaking words. It was just a receptacle for just man fat, boot glue, call it what you will. I sucked it all up just to get my hands on rocks. Emptying men just for a handful of coins, you know. Did you know one of the islands here is all lepers? You okay? Sorry. For better or for worse is marriage peeper. Peter. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Brenner. Mr. Brayton. Brenner! I said Brenner. You said Brenner. You said Brenner. <laughs> hey, Mr. Brenner. Mr. Brighton. Brayton! You know the last time I looked at a dick? Last night. This morning. <laughs> Go on the red 
<laughs> they love dick jokes. Audiences love dick jokes. Oh my God, this is the dumbest thing we've ever done. I love you so much. I love you too. I can't live without you. I can't believe I almost let you go. Why did you let me go? I should know, I should know. Sarah? What? It's happening. Yes! It's happening. <laughs> I would rather have my uh, testicles spread wafer thin and then sort of pasted with honey and then have wasps unleashed at my own genitals and then I'd like the resulting stings to be covered in vinegar and sort of worn as a swimming cap by a Nazi. Wow. I mean, how bad was it? <laughs> <laughs> I can do this all day. <laughs> you guys are going to want to see this. We lost the eBay auction. What? For the... Figurines. Fuck. <laughs> you know what? She's a plain Jane, and hey. she should go back to where she came from. Hey. That is the mother of my. Oh, sorry. You know what? I'm gonna leave because I don't know what happened to me either. There's <laughs> <laughs> a little extra, a little uh, stuck in my pocket here. <laughs> you gonna walk back in? Yep, yeah, because really stuck. <laughs> can't do it all. Are you kidding me? Just hanging out here? God, that dude got me. Fuck! Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me, dude? I know. Please, please, please. Just... Dude, that guy's the best. Fuck! Are you kidding, Are you kidding me? Please, dude. <laughs> <cute. laughs> <I'm> sorry. <laughs> I know. Are you kidding me? You make such a big deal Are you kidding dude? me? That dude's just. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. I know. <laughs> Action. I know. <laughs> Sorry. Come on. I'll be, I'll be, come on. Aldous Snow is here. <laughs> no. That's Aldous Snow just, just hanging out in my room. Please stop doing this. Oh, yeah, you're that guy that works with Keith Urban. Hey, man, are you here on that Avis convention? Yeah, you work with Starwood, right? Resorts? Oh, yeah, you're that guy from Florida whose girlfriend died. Hey, what's up, brother? My name's Kalunu. You the guy from Florida, girlfriend died? <laughs> Yo, bro, <laughs> get this Harley boys at the big and blue. Do you want me to spoon you? <laughs> I don't know what that means, but it doesn't sound good. <laughs> she turned me into a baby. <laughs> I'm a baby. She's made me a baby. Bite the apple. Bite the apple. Bite the apple. I think I'm pregnant. Could you take a look at my penis? Yeah, that's fine. Looks good. Good. Good looking penis. It's a beautiful dick. It's good. It's good. It's fine. Good dick. Good dick. Nice dick. Put it back. It's a penis for the ages. It's a beautiful penis. Got a good looking dick there, Peter. It's a good clothes. looking dick. I've looked at it. You want me to photograph it? Get your dick in your pants, Peter. Little kids. Get your assistant out of the shop, please. Oh my god, your butt looks so hot in that dress. Give me the peekaboo. You are giving my camera a fucking boner, Sarah Marshall. My camera's exploding. Blow me a kiss. Blow me a kiss. Blow me a kiss. Look at your feet. Jesus. You're driving me crazy, Sarah. You're so fucking hot. God, I want to fuck you. Yeah. I can't do it. I've seen Babe like 15 times. I hate you, Sarah. I hate you, Sarah. Stop your damn screaming before I send you to hell. Thank you. I mean, for the memories and different things along my life that you've been a part of without even knowing it. The first time I masturbated, You've said Once, enough. I'm sitting down so you can't tell, but I have a huge boner right now. What is... No, 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 don't, don't do that. Come don't on. do this. Bottom of our spines and our rectums are being pulled up to the sky. I just want to nuzzle you into my bosom. <laughs> like a baby in a, in a non-sexual way. I also wanted to let everyone know that I'm teaching a stand-up comedy class tonight based on Hawaiian folklore in conference room two tonight. It's called Aloha. I'd rather spend a week of my life watching crime scene investigates and spend another second in her company. I'd rather sit and watch 
after the tone, that bloody ridiculous film where phones can get you. I'd rather sit and watch that. I'd rather fund a sequel from my own pocket where she falls in love with a phone, but then it beats her up. At least I get a laugh out of that bit. I would rather have my uh, testicles spread wafer thin and then sort of pasted with honey and then have wasps unleashed at my own genitals. And then I'd like the resulting stings to be covered in vinegar and sort of worn as a swimming cap by a Nazi. Trouble at 12 o'clock. What do you got for me? DA's crawling up my ass. <laughs> she didn't come from there. <laughs> I know, we both looked over here. Oh, you feel so good inside me. Uh, I'm not inside of you. <sighs> fucking Peter! What? Did you seem like you were liking him? Get the fuck out of here, seriously! Thanks, you again. Yeah, from the lobby. Hey, hey nice how's it going? Her... <laughs> 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 You don't need to put your P in a V right now. I need to be my L on someone's face. No, you don't. Okay, what I'd like to do is put my C into somebody's V. straight up jacket to this tonight. When I get home, I'm gonna fucking jerk it to this. I swear to God. How the hell? You know what, dude? I'm not like, whatever. I'm not whatever. I just, if he wanted to, I would let him fuck. I let him take two rounds. His talent is dribbling out of my mouth as we speak. Do you know he fucked Helen Mirren? You know he fucking 69 Helen Mirren? That guy tossed Helen Mirren salad. And we're just two dudes on a fucking beach. Just look in, look in my eyes. Like, okay. Uh... Hey there. Please let me look away. Does that feel good? Does it feel good? Because it's hurting me, is the reason I asked. It's, it's curiosity. There, we now that's something. Maybe it would help if you took off your pajama bottoms. And we are married. <laughs> hey, um, Liz, would you do me a favor? Uh, can I just talk to Brian alone for a minute? Oh, yeah, 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 sure, They're sure. Cool. I'll, um, just gonna go downstairs and, and run the dishwasher. So okay. I'll just be, okay. just gonna go. So, wh what do you want to talk about, Peter? Okay, um, I just watched her walk in place and then stay standing right where she was. I still see her. She's she's still behind you. Is she gone? Yeah. Oh, shit. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Is she gone? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny. Okay. We'll try it again. <laughs> Fine. Is she gone? Yeah, yeah, she's gone. So w tell me, why were you drunk? Uh... Who are you looking at, Brian? <laughs> Let me just take it from who are you looking at. Just look, just, just look what okay. Is she gone? Who are you looking at, Brian? Who who do you keep looking at? <laughs> and then we got that. And then Liz, uh, Liz like re-enter and, uh, and just slowly come back. Yeah, slowly come back in. And <laughs> slowly come back in. And then and then tell her to leave. And Liz, leave, leave, but leave like one hand in frame inside your whole body. Is it is it in there right here? No, it's out. No, now, now it's just there. That's, That's good. good. That's good. Okay. When you leave, just stand there. Okay. okay. And, uh, after... I, I can see, I can still see Liz right, right behind okay. you. Okay, honey, why don't you go run the dishwasher? Yeah, I'm just gonna go in. Bye.
Bye, honey. Bye. All right, you know. She's gone. I think this is embarrassing for all of us. I just watched her. Just <laughs> take that again. Do you want to do that again and I yeah. won't say bye? Yeah. Just yeah. do it again. Oh, should I be leaned in first? Yeah, lean in. Okay. Um, hey, uh, Liz, if you don't mind, I'd love to just be able to talk to Brian. Oh, yeah, 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 sure. Okay. Is that cool? No offense. Yeah, I'm just going to go um, run the dishwasher downstairs. So. Okay. Oh, have fun. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Fuck. Hold on. <laughs> I'm sorry. Can you do that? I'm yeah. really sorry. Just do that again. Okay, I'm just gonna go um, do the dishes downstairs. Okay, honey, okay. <laughs> Fuck. Okay. I lost it this time too. Sorry. Okay, hey, uh, yeah, sure, I'll just, um, I'm just gonna go gonna... run the dishes okay. downstairs. So okay. I'll let you guys just talk. Okay, you know what? <clears throat> okay, I, I'm just gonna take it from there, all right? Okay. Okay, you know what, guys? Uh, this is embarrassing for all of us. I know. I, I just watched her walk in place, and she's still standing right behind you. I see. I see her there. She's uh, she's still there. I see the corner of her arm. She gone? Yes. The, Brian? Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> hold on. Fuck. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. No, shut up. Everybody, hold on. Wait. I'm sorry. Hold on. I'm going to start laughing. Okay. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Okay. I said shut up to myself, not to everybody. I'm sorry, sorry. Um, all right, she's gone, man. Let's stop. <laughs> Fuck you. Hold on. Yeah! Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, wait. Hold on, wait, 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 okay. You got it. Okay, man, she's gone. Let's talk. Is she? She's... <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. She's gone. She's totally gone. <laughs> Hold on. She's gone. She's gone. No one else is here. It's just it's just me and you. It's just brother to brother hanging you out. You promise? I promise. She's not in the room. Look. You see anybody? No. <laughs> I see her. <laughs> Bri? Yeah. I see her arm right behind you. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> Take it again. I got it. Bri? Yeah. Bri, I see her arm right behind you. Why don't you... She's gone, man. So, t tell me, man, we're alone. Tell me what's up. What happened? You were drunk? You were, you were at yoga? Right. What's up? This is embarrassing for both of us. Hey, man, I just feel bad for you, dude. She's I mean, still it's so right behind you, Brian. <laughs> I, I, you know, really, I can um, I can sing something else because I think uh, out of context, the Dracula voice. Dracula musical! <laughs> <laughs> she claps and the crowd joins in, sort of. Oh, all right. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> it's getting kind of hard to believe things are going to get better. I've been drowning too long to believe that the tide's going to turn. I've been living too hard to believe things are going to get easier now. I'm still trying to shake off the pain from the lessons I've learned. And if I see Van Helsing, I swear to the Lord I will slay him! <laughs> he take you from me! I swear I won't let it be so! <laughs> Blood will run down his face when he is decapitated! <laughs> His head on my mantle is how I will let this world know <laughs> how much I love you. <laughs> Peter and Rachel make eye contact. She smiles a smile we haven't seen before. Their gaze lingers. Ken walks over and sits down. Dear song. <laughs> I don't know. Here. He reminds me of Jay Leno. <laughs> I think he's a strange guy. <laughs> Die. <laughs> Die. <laughs> Die. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> they share a smile, and we're going to take a break at this point. <laughs> This is a song that I never thought I would write on the night I'm dying. The funny thing is that Jason was actually writing Dracula the musical, not as a joke in his own life. And then when he started writing the screenplay, he incorporated it into the screenplay as a weird thing a guy could be doing. But the truth is, he was doing it and not as a joke. Here I am. I'll leave you bleeding in my dungeon. Jason in real life was writing a Dracula musical and you know incorporated it into the movie which is great i think it's gonna work like from all the sketches of the puppets i've seen and the henson company are making our puppets i mean i really feel like i tricked everybody i'm the creative supervisor of jim henson's creature shop and i'm michael ostrom i'm the production supervisor for jim henson's creature shop we got involved with this production they gave us a call and wanted us to participate in the finale we had learned was a, um, a Dracula puppet music. We had a meeting actually uh, with the with uh, some puppets. We were with not with puppets with puppet people, and they handed out puppets to everyone during the meeting. And I literally had to take Jason's puppet away from him because he wasn't paying attention to the meeting. He was busy looking at the puppet, you know, playing with the puppet. Hey guys. Hi. Uh -huh. How much? What are you guys getting ready to do? He doesn't want to talk to you right now. Whatever vague sense of humor his character is developing about in the movie, Jason has been developing it alongside him. <laughs> like, Jason will be taking a Dracula puppet home with him at the end of the shoot, and nobody is going to ask what's going to happen to him. He's afraid. Of what? Being exposed for what he really is. A fraud. Dracula? Why would you say that to me? It's been in my imagination for like seven or eight years now. Uh, I started writing a Dracula musical without any sense of irony or humor when I was like 22 years old to be done with puppets. Uh, and everyone around me thought that I was completely crazy and that I was throwing my life away. Because it's true, man. You gotta live up to it. Oh, I think it's very nice when I got you this job and everything, right? Fuck you. I don't need your work. I'm eternal, bitch. Dracula, talk to me like that. That's really not cool. Yeah, I'm just doing not my cool. job. Not cool. Fuck you, Stretch. I was a naysayer about the puppet musical at the beginning. I just didn't really understand why Jason Segel loved puppets so much. And I thought it was a cute idea, but I, every time anyone would try to get me to okay things, I would just say, yeah, that's really cool. Yeah, that's great. God, I can't believe you're putting so much energy into this uh, puppet musical. I had imagined that it, when I first read the script, that it'd be sort of like Kukla, Fran, and Ollie or Lamb Chops or something. Uh, and it turned out to be a huge production, which I'm going to probably take to Broadway next year, I'm sure. 
I love musicals myself, so we, we want it to be like a Les Mis style finale. So it literally has like 30 puppets on stage. It's going to be, uh, we'll find it amusing. So <laughs> you look delicious. And it's been that it's been really cool because I got to like learn how to like do puppets, which like a guy you know <laughs> showed me how to like we like talk in the mirror and I count to like 10. Count to 10. Each basically you want to hit consonants. With the puppet, like one, two, three, four, five, six, and then seven is seven. It's actually two, eight, nine, ten. Or do ABCs, you know? We're all naked. What? You ain't got no clothes on. <laughs> we have a lot of action. We have the most action at the end of it. Everybody else like gets to like float, or like Jason just stands in one place and gets killed. But my character, we like jump, we like run in the air, on air, and land. Hold it about your esophagus. And so he jumps in like, like that's like this really great dynamic thing, you know? This was made by the Henson Studios. I can't believe it. The Muppet Show growing up, like was my first exposure to comedy. Uh, Nick and Jason came up with ideas like this, this puppet gives birth to a bunch of baby Draculas. So we had to change her dress, minor change, but we had to accommodate that absurd gag they came up with. So they made something like 30 puppets for us. This guy right here? I think so. <laughs> the lighting guy has been on me like seagulls at the dump since this whole thing started. <laughs> See what I'm saying? See what I'm saying? How's it going? We're twins. Oh, we're twins. But it takes a lot of work and you have to like look at a lot of puppet prototypes. You'd be shocked how many puppet prototypes you have to look at. There's a bunch of songs that had to be written and recorded. I finished trying. Was a wonderful dream. Now let him come and slay me. There he is. The demon who haunted the streets of London. I've come to slay you. <laughs> I was so amazed. It was like I was at a Broadway musical, like Avenue Q or something. It was very impressive. I think this movie's gonna be a huge flop. No, I'm sorry. bizarre ending to a movie, maybe ever, but uh, I wouldn't have it any other way.